Bobcats, welcome to BBTV. Today is Wednesday, March 4th, 2020. My name is Laura and I'm here with your daily announcements. Attention girls basketball team, please check into your homeroom and then report to the gym today during Bobcat Day. Eighth graders, tomorrow is OPS High School Registration Day at Buffett. Each eighth grade student will meet individually with a high school counselor to finalize course selections. It is very important to be on time to school. Bobcats, spring is in the air and many of the new flowers we planted around the building will start coming out of the ground. Students, please remember to use the sidewalks when going out of the portables or as you walk around the building. Our PTO and Ms. Ms. Norris's grant money went to the use in planting these to beautify our surroundings and to help the environment. Thank you for always using the sidewalks and not cutting through the grass in planting areas. Students going on the New York spring break trip. Please plan on attending an after-school meeting today in Mr. Miller's room on the stage. Team building and today's show sign making are just a few of the events on the schedule. Also, please remember to get your trip money to Mr. Doherty. Eighth graders going to Central next year. Central will be holding their annual tryouts March 23rd to 30th. To 30th. On the 2020-21 dance team, there is an informational meeting for students and parents of students interested in Thursday, March 5th at 4 o'clock in the Central High Gym Lobby. A friendly, friendly reminder to all our Bobcats, please remember to put your computer in your gym locker each and every day. That's all for your daily announcements today, Bobcats. Now let's move over to your three-day weather forecast. Hi everyone, I'm Anna and I'm here with your three-day weather forecast. But first, I am bringing you some breaking news. The state of Tennessee is under a state of emergency after the deadliest tornado in seven years. Just before the dawn on Tuesday morning, while many men, women, and children were still sleeping, storms rushed through the city of Nashville and surrounding areas. Survey teams report damage caused by an EF3 tornado with winds up to 165 miles per hour. Yet, they are still unclear of the number of tornadoes that may have desolated the area. Officials went through standing and damaged structures, searching for survivors late in, into Tuesday night. As of the latest update, 24 individuals have been killed, 22 individuals uncounted for, and hundreds of buildings have been destroyed. The weather does not seem to be slowing down anytime soon either. Many new storms are brewing into other parts of the country. Taking a look at our local weather, it looks like we are warming up quite a bit. Might be windy, but with warmer weather, I think we are all a little bit happier. Today will reach a high of 62 degrees and a low of 40. Tomorrow will be a little chillier and windy with a high of 54 degrees and a low of 25. Friday will be sunny with a high of 55 degrees and a low of 42. But just wait, because this weekend we are heading into the 70s. Now on to your top story. As many of you may have heard, the virus that is already a pandemic and is spreading all over the world. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that have symptoms from the common cold to things as extreme as the SARS-CoV which is a severe acute respiratory syndrome. The new strain of the coronavirus that has been identified in humans and is the one all over the news. The new strain can cause a variety of symptoms. These include respiratory symptoms, fever, cough, shortness of breath, and breathing difficulties. In severe cases, infection can cause pneumonia, severe acute respiratory syndrome, kidney failure, and even death. This is why the novel coronavirus is so hard to diagnose. You may be wondering how to prevent getting the virus in the first place. Although there are no cures or vaccines that you can get as they just aren't developed and won't be developed for another year, you can still get into the routine of doing these things to stay healthy. Recommendations from the WHO World Health Organization say to regular, regularly wash your hands, cover your mouth when coughing and sneezing, avoid contact with anyone showing symptoms of respiratory illness such as avoid and avoid touching your face with your hands, 
According to the CDC Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, as of March 3, 2020, across 12 states, there are a total of 60 confirmed cases in the U.S. and a total of six deaths. As far as Nebraska, the UNMC has taken people in from China and cruise ships into their hospitals as that is what they specialize in. Our superintendent has stated that she is ready to cancel school for three to four weeks if somebody from Nebraska contracts a virus. So remember, Bobcats, to wash your hands. Bobcats, this is Davin, and it will be here your sports sub. Starting off in Bobcat sports, our Lady Varsity basketball team played at the City and Championship yesterday and brought home the trophy. Great job, Bobcats. Way to have such a great season. Next, Boys Swimming has a swim meet today at Morton Middle School at 3.30. Good luck, boys. Moving on to wrestling. JV is a city tournament today at Norris, and tomorrow, Varsity also has a city tournament at Norris. Good luck to all of our Bobcats involved in sports. Now, moving outside of Buffett, March Madness is just around the corner. March Madness is an NCAA Division Men's Basketball Tournament that has been happening for 82 years. The first game will be on March 17, 2020, and there will be a total of 68 teams playing. That's all for your sports. Now heading back to the main desk to wrap up today's episode. That's all for BBTV Today, Bobcats. Signing off, this has been Laura. Have a great day.